Welcome to this one will make your head spin while you wait. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, up until version 21, we really have not have any good indication of let's wait because the system is doing something. Uh, but an option for communicating that to you to the, to the end users are kind of being added to version 21 um, because Microsoft needed something like that and uh, so it's there and uh, we can use it so uh, why don't we try using it and see if we can uh, make some head spin or something spin let's see uh, for that we need visual studio code and I've just started a new app and downloaded um, simple so let's uh, Sinner? Ah, probably Spinner is probably better. Let's create a new page. Uh, spinner. Uh, and why? Here. Yeah, so let's. Why we remember? Let's put this into launch JSON that as a launch page because we probably need to do this more than once. Um, and what they added. Uh, so let's add just do a very simple page here that's simple as we can do it so let's see what we get um, it's a user control and let's call it spin and then when we when we look at what's available from Microsoft we we see that there's a new one here weight spinner so that's what we need to play with um, and uh, since we're in version 21, we should be able just to do application area up here. Application area, all. Um, and, uh, you know what? Let's see what this will bring. Uh, some of you might be yelling at the screen right now, says, hey, Eric, you did not specify a page type. Yeah, I kind of didn't uh, because I actually don't know anything about this spinner yet. So let's just see how it behaves at all. Um, well, I need to log in, so that's okay. Is there something spinning? But that's not the one we want. Let's see if we can go to... There it is. Hang on. That was pretty easy. So we got a, uh, we added a spinner. We got a spinner here on this page type, but not a page. Actually, I just want to see if we open the in page inspection. Can we do that? Yeah. So this is a cart. So page type without anything is actually a cart. Or the bonus info. Okay, so that one is clearly spinning. Um, it looks like there was a gravity spin almost. Anyway, okay, so what can we do? Let's see what we can do. Let's kill the debugger and get back here. So the first thing I wanna figure out is Let's see what kind of triggers we have. We have two, we have a callback and we have a ready. Um, so I guess ready is, you know, as with all user controls that it's not there at the, so what's weird about user control is that let's say we have a trigger on, uh, on open page. Down here we could do you know cur page dot spin dot and that's a function called wait. Oh I think we'll get back to that one. Uh, but we can actually, let's try this. Wait uh, and this one takes a uh, seconds to wait. Uh, so let's do ten seconds here. So this is looks perfectly alright. So I will hit publish on that one. 
deployed. And now I get a fail on this one. And if we go back here, the added, the control added in the control spin on page spinner has not been is instantiated. So that means that the loading of a user control is kind of async. So it happens later. And when it's ready or done loading, then it tells Business Central, hey, I'm done. Uh, and, and there are, you know, some call them, they call it on control ready and control ready. And this one is apparently sparse for letters. So this one is just ready. Um, so what we could do in here is, is something like, well, let's create a, a global. Uh, so what you, in some cases, want to do is, is avoid this one suddenly triggering twice for whatever reason. Um, so we could create a, a boolean to control ready. And then we say that if control ready, then no, we don't want to do anything else. So otherwise we'll do control ready equal true. And remember the, 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 the weight thing. So this is basically like, uh, let's see if we can get this work. This is basically like a, a, uh, your, 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 uh, your, um, you're waiting for something that you want to check your, so you're, you're kind of pulling, uh, um, and what we could do is that let's create a, uh, not a variable here, wait time integer. Um, so we could add wait time here. Um, caption waiting dot dot dot. Well, they are already dot, so that doesn't really work. Edit ball false. Um, so what we can do up here is simply call this one. So curve page dot spin wait. So this is kind of a timer. So you, in the old days, we also had the ping pong control. Uh, so you could, we kind of get this. So let's say that we wait two seconds. So now if we have a look at the other trigger, that's the callback. That means that wait time plus one. So whenever we get a callback from this thing, we uh, we try to update this one. This one will show here. So let's see if this works at all. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, hang on. Let's see if we can somehow. It was behind my head. Okay, so it's, it gave us one, and then it stopped. So does that mean that we will have to do a new and curve page spin? Wait, let's do once instead of, because we're busy here. Do we have to wait again? So it is we get one ping, so to speak, and then That seems to work. So the question now is, what can we wait for in this case? Uh, this one is waiting, all is good, but but what are we waiting for? Well, um, we so we could do stuff. So let let's actually let's try something here. Let's try something here. on the callback. Um, on the callback, let's let's do something like this. Var customer. The the problem with this is that the now the wait piece is running in in our main thread, and and you know 
Business Central is not that multi-threaded. So, so if we spend our main thread waiting, then it's kind of pointless. Actually, I want to try one, th one more thing before we, what is weight zero? I want to know what is weight zero. Let's see. Okay, so weight zero is basically, you can compare it to a yield. So it's probably the fastest round time we can have, which I think is, is okay for what I, I'm just thinking about here. So let's say that we do something like this. Now we just do if customer find set, then begin. Uh, Customer, wow, customer dot set auto calc fields balance. How about that one? And then we do repeat until customer next equals zero, and we do balance plus equal uh, balance plus equal customer dot wow. I lost it there. <laughs> um, and and let's actually uh, let's make this the global we showed on here instead of wait time. Oh, we can just add it here. And we do balance here. Um, but in order to make this just a tiny bit, otherwise we can't see plus random 100. So what I'm trying to, maybe I should explain this better. What I'm, what I'm trying to do here now is that I want to keep my workload on the main thread. Uh, so as you can see now, Well, I never, <laughs> so I didn't really need the random thing because uh, I never reset balance. So it's it's just adding up, but that's okay. So now you can see that for every time this number changes, I, I'm processing some records, right? So if I have a way to break down my work in, in chunks that can be done in, you know, inside the callback, so do a little, do a little, do a little, do a little. Uh, then you could do this. Uh, another option is to start a session and, and somehow wait for the result of the session, start a background thread, start a, a page background uh, task. Um, but, but the problem here is that you know, the spinner is sitting in the UI thread, so uh, in the main thread, so you can't really if, if we run a long process, um, then maybe, actually now that I'm thinking more about it, it will still, sp it will spin, but then it will actually be covered up by the uh, working uh, dialogue. Uh, so anyway, I think that's enough time spent spinning um, I think this is useful uh, Microsoft are using it for when you the new improved experience when you in install an app uh, uh, from at least from the app source I actually don't know if they also do it on the upload um, but when you do it on the app source there's a page where it's waiting with the spinner um, but maybe we can use it elsewhere anyway uh, how about you check out this video for more AL programming? I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.